Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where I think we're going to continue with the rail thing and maybe get a second town going, third town going, so we're going to have a town going. Uh, so um, let's uh, get rid of all these trains for the time being. We know the filter system, we know what we want to do with it, let's just get rid of them all um, because I don't want them driving around the tracks as I'm building them because I'm not entirely sure where we want the tracks. Let's get rid of that bit there. Okay. This is all correct. This is all correct, however. So this is grain. This is coming down here. This is fine. Um, so let's continue this run out down here. Okay, let's do the same here. Um, I want to... Um, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to add it up to where our templates live. Uh, oh, I didn't want to turn them. No, nope, not want to them. Be gone. Okay, and then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it here like that and then all we have to do is just run that into there and run that into there like that okay. uh, remembering the train track system was same as shoots so the direction you pull is the direction stuff goes so here it can go straight on or turn the camera this way so i don't mess up my left and my right which um i didn't think i did in the last episode but i got called out for it uh um, i'm sure i moved the camera around to say left and right but I maybe maybe I maybe I was maybe I was I, I don't know it didn't, it's it's not important it's not important you you get it you know what I mean but here the train comes down um, and it can go straight on or turn right it's the only options anyway for it but if we had another track here which we will have eventually and then this one does this and this one does that then the train coming along here can turn right and go down it cannot turn left here because there is no so track, this this track here is only the left track the, the right track it's on the left hand side turning right going down there this one is turning right and straight on and then when it comes up here these can either turn right because they're coming up here so they'll turn right to get that one or right to that one they cannot turn left so so the direction you drag the track is important so so that's that one and this one's going to be for meat i want to uh i want to filter these guys um just to make sure a train not no train should drop off in these anyway but for the sake of paranoia just to make sure that no train nothing actually ends up in there that shouldn't be in there and messes the system up somewhere so but um like that okay and then we get a pusher uh, this gets tagged with one remember not to push enter uh, also don't link it to other things uh, this is two uh, this gets a filter of beef got beef got beef there we go and this gets filtered there um uh, i don't think i've explained this at all um lithium if you have a logic block selected and you must have another one you get this blue line um which creates uh what's called an active state between the two um so you can click that like that and see now this has a link together and if we go to logic connections um outbound we have logic systems out in this scenario, it's not really going to make any difference because I don't think a pusher can push for a logic system. But in other scenarios, you may have a block that activates something, so it might turn on or off a pusher of bits pieces. If you've accidentally connected one pusher to another one, potentially it could daisy chain. So if we try to control this pusher with logic, because we've now linked it to that one, it could also control the one next to it. I don't think that's the case. I'm 99% sure it's not the case. But it's always best to make sure you don't have random links just around anyway because uh, you never quite know where if you do some logic with it and you're like oh hang on a minute i'm doing something here but it changes the block all over that sort of the map over there because i had this selected and then i was over here doing something and i clicked on another one and it and it linked so so yeah you can see all the logic links uh, i think you just have to mouse over them yeah when you mouse over them it shows you know if you've got any links or not so that you can always see um, and it also shows the other way as well when you um, click on the target so if you're if your logic's not working just mouse over it and check that all the stuff coming into this block is from the correct places um so yeah okay so how far out is the train the first line is there's an 18 gap so we go here we go 18 which is there so we go one more I push four on the keyboard that's where our train line is going to be let's get rid of this let's get rid of this let's get rid of the stone not fussed about it the stone's easy to get 
Um, I'll save the coal for a minute. I don't think... No, we will probably have to go up that far. I don't know, but... And give us the lag. Yeah. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. No, it's still laggy. <laughs> when doing mass terrain editing, the, 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 uh, the thing does go lag. I think it's uh, recalculating the uh, pathing. So, um, it's to be expected when doing that sort of things. It's not game breaking at all. So, it's fine. So, we want to go up here. So, um, when you start dragging anything, belts, train shoots, uh, track sorry, tra shoots, whatever, um, the first direction you drag is the primary length, if that makes sense. Let me explain here. So, if I click here and I go up a one and then come across here, um, it will go up and across. Does that make sense? So, it goes up. And then it goes goes to the left but if i click and go left by one and then come up it will go left and then up so you see what i mean the very first one you ever do it's kind of awkward sometimes when you're doing conveyor belts when they're up in the air because you might be up in the air with your camera and got this you've clicked and it, it's gone up by one you haven't realized um so it's, no, it's gone up by one you do that and, that, and no, i've come back again but oh it's not doing what i want to do i want it to go length and that. it's because it's it's kind of awkward when doing it if you can try and get as top down with the camera as you possibly can um it's always a good way to do it there uh, also don't forget you've got the grid overhead grid view here but you can't raise things in this overhead grid view you can't use page up page down to raise things so you need to come out of the grid view page up to where you want to go to and then go back into the grid view by pressing tab um or it's tab for me um and then that will be at the correct height so see so yeah okay so we want to go along and up um connected to it. okay cool, cool cool so this is train one so this is uh and then we want to come up here uh, we want to remove all of this those trees there as well uh probably some trees over there as well but we're not going that far just yet do do do, do, do. remove all that flatten this down here um, it costs red coins to flatten, it costs yellow coins to remove resources, so, uh... <coughs> oh, that's interesting. You haven't got to worry about using all your coins up in just one thing at once. Um, some magic is all there, that's fine. Um, and that happens a lot as well. You end up missing banged out areas when they're underneath resources, so... Okay. Oh, excuse me. Right, so... Oof, train goes there. So we want to have um, here our drop offs. So the trains will turn down here and we'll drop off all the things they want to drop off. And then they'll sit here and wait until they're empty. And then when the train is empty, it will send the train along to do its thing again. And we can do that all with automation. We don't necessarily need any logic for that. So I won't try and use a logic as much as I can. So this is 18, right? So. That's 18, that's 19, press 4, boom, there you go. Mm. This is our train here. Um, obviously, this will be moved, this won't be here, so it'll be down here to that. But what we'll do is we want to have our first drop-off be here. And this wants to be animal feed. Okay. Now, I do want to try and re-space these out slightly, because I want to have them evened up. So, from the centre, now, we know we need 17 here. Um... And 17 doesn't split into two, which is annoying. So, yeah, we're going to have like eight one side and nine the other side. Yeah, it's just how it's going to go. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to have this, but I need to make sure it like sort of starts in the center and spaces out. So the three gap in the center is this three gap here. And it's spaces out. Just to make it lined up properly with everything. Because um, otherwise we're going to have a couple here and a couple there and it's it's all it's all gonna be weird um i think i'm gonna do it however with uh scaffolding or something because um although i could do a train track we could absolutely do it with train track but then i can't replace the train track so no well, let's, let's let's do it with just scaffolding or something um just to try and get where these trains will line up so this wants to be a gap so a train is going to come down and we'll have a station here okay um i could copy the stations do we have 50 and 50 uh we're okay for them not brilliant so move it one away so be a train station there train station there there'd be one there there'd be one there there'd be one here which means you need to move over this whole thing needs to move over and the 
belt that comes in needs to either go to this side or that side. I think I'll move it that way. That's going to be the safest way to do. So let's delete this. Let's uh, delete that. Um, I'd rather do this now and get everything in place now before I mess anything up. Um, so you want to go there. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. That's not the block I wanted to copy. <laughs> What I should do is I should make a, a thing up with all eight tracks, but then I'm not, I'm not going to use all eight tracks all at once. So yeah, so that's it. So this this wants to come along, and this one's actually go into the back of this here. Um, this is, I mean, I know it's high. Um, I can't really do a great deal about that. Most of these will come out in the center, so it'll be fine. These just can't do that because of. How they are um but i could come out the sides of this and come down to make this lower also in this one i actually moved it into the line rather than on top which is kind of where i should have had it in the first place if i'm honest with you um, but then again we might have multiple ones it, it becomes complicated when you have multiple tracks and things but i'd like to get this one back in and get as low down as i can uh which would be like one off from the floor so let me let me try and do this here so if we did this and we went up by is it just one we went up by here do we go by two we went up by one which means that uh no i think i think vehicles can get underneath this hold on worker you come here uh come here yeah you can walk underneath this uh wagons i don't know if caravans can caravans might be taller nope caravans can go underneath it as well so as long as it's one a uh, one gap and it's the archways it's fine it's fine so so let's try this bit here. So go up by one. And let's just drag this out all the way along. To like here somewhere. Okay. And then let's remove all of this guy. Which is going to put loads of boxes and stuff in our HQ. Which is fine. Which is fine. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. Um, and then what I want to do is, um, I'm thinking we come out the sides of this. So we go up by one here. Uh, in fact, uh, what we can do is we can use those to come out like that. Uh, nope, nope, actually. Let's go like this. That is plenty of space. That is absolutely plenty of space. That's way. I, I, I honestly thought that was going to be closer to do that than like closer to that than it, than it was. So, but it was not. So that's cool. Okay, you come down to there. You come down to there. You will come along here. Um, if you drag over a belt in a different direction, it just replaces the belt. Oh, do I wish things like um, Astro Colony would do that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> and then. You are going to come from here back along. Um, I'm going to hold control to keep you at the right height uh, to there. And then you're going to go into the back of that there like that. And you're going to be at that height because that makes sense. So fine. So you feed that one there. The middle line will feed that one there. And the next line will feed that one there. And I have no idea about these ones here. Uh, we'll have to figure them out. We, we've got space for more things so so that's that's fine that's fine we, we, we've got space right we got okay bum, bum, bum. and then what i want to do is i just want to grab a grabber um and we do this um filter you to uh well boxes anything that's boxed mate anything that's boxed okay um It's not necessarily outputting twice as fast or anything like that at all. It's just it's just got two outputs, just for symmetry's sake. Basically, that's that's the only reason behind it. So, um, I think one one can output fast enough to, to to keep this running. So, okay, and that goes into there, and that's our thing done there. So enable that there. Uh, the copy has got yes, copy has got it disabled. So I don't have to worry about something messing up with that. 
Okay. Right. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's enable that as well. That's beef. That's going to be good. We're happy with this. Yep. You reload. You reload. Okay. So now. We want to do the same thing. I don't know how many drop offs we need. Um, but I'd like to do the same sort of thing. Um. To make sure we've got even drop-offs spaced out so um so we're going with like this uh, like that Boom. this one so this one's going to be animal feed animal feed is going to be used a lot we might even have two doing animal feed but i'm not sure I'm not sure with that one. Um, it might be complicated to get to that more feed game, but okay. Uh, so we'll do the same here. Let's do this. Uh, let's line it up with that. Oh, that's directly in the center. That's excellent. Put a little block in, drag it out, hold control so it stays at the right height. And for now, I'm literally just going to do that. Uh, we will want other feeds and stuff coming off of it. I'm going to have to figure it out. So, hey, okay. awesome. Let's come over here. Copy that. Rotate it around and paste it there. And then we want to change this. Instead of being a loader, it wants to be an unloader. And you'll notice, don't rotate it around. Leave it facing the same direction here. We we'll change it to unloader and it automatically switches around, which makes sense because the unloader is in and the loader is out. So there we go. Awesome. So let's grab uh, this and do that. And. I think if I'm honest, we're going to have this do this. Okay. Um, and then you're going to cross that track and do that. So you go down to here and then when you're done, you just leave and go back up to the main line. Okay. Cool. And you join um, number one's line because you are train number one. So we shouldn't need a filter there. Okay. In fact, in fact, we shouldn't even need that there. That shouldn't be there. But I'm going to leave it there as a fail safe in case something goes wrong. So I put a pusher here and we are going to flip these to be called one. Okay, so any train that's tagged as one, we know belongs to us. So we want to come down here. Realistically, we could break this and it should only come down. So the track should only come down here because no other train should be on here other than track one should be on here. But I'm going to leave it in case something does go wrong somewhere. So a train can just carry on going around the loop. Although, do I want to do that? I might want to have a catch for it. If something goes wrong, maybe it could come down and we could just have a dead end at the end here and the train just go dead and then be like, hang on, there's a dead train there. What went wrong with it? That's probably the better option, actually. So let's do that. So that means this track comes down here and does that. But so track one is here. So if a train comes along, wants grain, it will pick up grain. It should never be. We should never have a track one grain track. So this will never get used. But it's there because it's just repeats. Everything's fine. Um, and then a train will come up and go along. It's fine. Uh, beef will pick up beef if it needs to. Track one should never want to pick up beef either. So these should never get used. But I'm going to leave them there because, yep. Um, comes down here, turns down here. This is going to be um, a pusher. And this is going to be for animal feed. So we'll filter this with animal feed. And this will come down here. And this wants to be set to, uh, don't want to tag, hold until empty. Which means the train will park here until it can empty all its goods into the station before it goes. Which means if we're not using the goods, the trains will just stop. And we can have multiple trains on this line if we wanted to. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit complicated. I've made the system designed for eight trains. So that's one of each town. But the animal feed trains, we might have multiple animal feed trains. However, no other town is going to need animal feed. Only the farm's ever going to need it. So I don't foresee the trains blocking up. There may be some scenarios where we have, like, a... Um, plank train for instance 
um, which we might need more than eight paint trains, but we'll figure that out because we're going to have to just come, when we, when we come to that scenario, we'll have to redesign. We'll have to redesign at that point. And maybe we can figure out something here because maybe we can get more uh, space in between here because this is going to have so many pickups, but not that many drop-offs. Drop -offs, so you can have more trains in the drop-offs waiting, potentially. Um, but then you shouldn't need that. What I mean by that is that if a place needs planks, you might want to have two trains running. So one's unloading whilst another one's going to pick up all the time. You probably will want two trains. So if five places want two trains, that's 10 trains. And we've only got space for eight trains to park. So parking probably needs to be bigger than the drop-off area. The drop-off area probably needs to be like two or three trains deep. The parking, I feel like, definitely needs to be bigger. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it now. What we're going to do is we're going to build it as it is. And if we get problems, we have some redundancy here. We can move things out. We can extend the extend the uh, belts for that. And I'm probably going to regret doing this and be like, why did I do, not do this first time around? So we can go one, two, three, four, five rails over if you really wanted to. Um, um, we could move over. So we've got 10 tiles there. So we could get 10 tiles here. And we know like each one of these is basically a, a train. So that would give us another space for four trains, five trains. So um, if we moved over, potentially. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm no, we're not going to do it now. We're going to do it now. We're going to watch it fail and then figure it out later. So, so yeah, so you'll come up here. You'll get pushed this way. There you go. Okay. Okay. Right. So now, where do you go? Where do you go to animal feed? You have to go to whoever processes animal feed. Who processes animal feed? Let's have a look see here. So it is. I really wish these windows would save their settings between saves. Um, it's not forestry. It's not mining. It is processing. Processing does it. So processing is town number four, which is uh, this one here, which is a little awkward to build because we've got loads of stuff around it. So we're going to have to move some things and change some stuff up and potentially shut down our magic production. Um... Also, this might be really bad in the way. If it is in the way, I will move this trading post and we'll rebuild this somewhere else out of the way. Because, yeah, <laughs> we want that. We want that. So, okay. So first and foremost, let's do a bit of um, uh, a bit of town trickery. Boop. It says upgrade you boop, 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 all the way to level eight. Boom. And you can be uh, production processing. Boom. Uh, and then we're going to use this town actually over here. So you're you're going to get moved to a new area. That's fine. Uh, and then uh, you're also going to get moved to a new area. And we're going to shut down the production over here. Where are we going to put you? We're going to put you um, over here. And we're going to get rid of you because you're only level one town. Okay. And then we're going to shut down all of this. But this is going to be completely 100% shut down and removed. Um, I don't want to delete the houses, though. So we're going to move the houses. Don't know where we're going to move the houses to. Um, let's put the houses in there. And we'll run a road. Oh, I can't. Oh, there. There you go. Boom. Okay. And then we're going to do this. We are literally just going to go yoink. Not deleting that town center there. And we're going to press delete. And all of that would have gone into the base. All of that stuff would have gone into space. We apparently have happiness bonus. Awesome. Cool. Um, yep. All of that would have gone into space here. And apparently we can upgrade as well. Hey, level nine town centers. Right. Okay. It's 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 upgrade time. It's upgrade time. Uh, you move out of the way. Level nine town centers are awesome. Awesome. Look look at this. Look look. look. So we got wonderful, nice. It all looks beautiful. Upgrade it, and boom! Look at that. We get this um, copper roof because copper turns blue after time. So you've got another copper roof, marble walls. Look at the upgrade. So from what is it that to that 
It's got the same house, just very clearly had an upgrade. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's put you over here. Um, where's the center of the map? Oh god, there. See, look, look at the range of it now. It's, it's reaching right out pretty much everywhere right now. And then when it reaches the next tiny bit, it will do this outside line here. And we'll get these corner bits, which we could technically use should we need to. So, uh, you're farming. So, boom, awesome. Um, let's move you to there. Let's put you there. Let's make you pro processing. You will be processing as well once we're done here. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Get rid of the resources around it. Bomb. Yep, I know. What are you doing? What are you doing? All those wonderful mana things and we, 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 we can find more. We have an infinite map. We can find more. I just deleted the iron that this was detached to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's random railway stuff here. Get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. We might have to move our map. Uh, iron can go. We might have to move our map. In fact, our map is definitely going to be in the way there. So, copy the plan. And the plan sits there. But first of all, most we need to delete the four corners of the build because the plan includes the corners. And you can't overwrite because of reasons. One there, rotate. One there, rotate. No, trees are in the way. And then rotate and only the map only the map's going to be in the way for that one okay let's just move our map again uh map can live up there now let's get rid of these trees and those there um and oh, i didn't need to get rid of the cold no no copy rotate can't afford you can't afford it i four hundred and fifty seven. You not store it. Where, where are our logs being stored? Right, come on, come on. Is it here? Logs being stored here. No, we've only got one storage for logs. That's probably why. How can I up that? I could put more barns on the run there. Normally, I'd have it dumping the base, and I think the base can store something like a thousand goods right now at level eight, so even more than that. So, um, make you faster, make you faster. Okay, so now you're starting to fill with trees slightly. So, that's that's the extent. So, seven workers at the current happiness level, um, well, six workers at the current happiness level, is, is exactly the output for a single. Uh, shoot so okay. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this here we got oh excuse me hiccups uh, copy that copy that um, is supporting our friends ah yes 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 you cannot move floating platforms with the move tool you have to build a supports for them yep, I just use page down to get underneath that and then I believe now we're, we're doing that we can move this now yes there you go because there are support you can't move floating it's very weird you have to build supports for them it's um yeah I'm not quite sure why that's a thing but it is so that's fine uh, you're still fine you're still working fine okay cool. yes right so um let's upgrade you all the way uh can't you press u to upgrade no hmm. i thought you could press u to upgrade but nope i guess not there we go so we'll do that and uh that's interesting Oh yes, it's copying the thing because it knows there's only one item in this block, so that's why it's putting the filter on it. There's only one item in here, so it knows to copy it. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're feeding that. This, this isn't this isn't you know obviously this, but this one will fill up, and then this one will fill up, and then this one will fill up, um, and we'll have um, three thousand wood instead of you know, so. Okay, okay. So um, unfortunately, time has got ahead of me um, because. Uh, 
yeah but so we need to put this one in which will actually fit in here without any problem which is awesome and then we need to bring the track around down and back again to here um and then we have to have our drop off for this town uh right here which means this needs to be 18 away which means this is definitely in the way here okay so i'm going to use creative mode to move this out the way and over here somewhere um and uh then we'll um just just we'll just push it out of the way over here somewhere um and uh We'll come out next episode and we will continue with this when we get the processing time started so it, it, it's slow going it's slow going but um it's going it is going so yeah yeah okay and we'll get in the layout. once we get the layout right for one house and one town and we get the actual process right it'll be much quicker once we get to the next town to think so provided we have enough resources thank you very much for watching everybody i hope you have enjoyed this one and i do hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun.